Yesterday, in Ashfield and the woods near Silent Hill, the bodies of five apparent murder victims and a sixth severely wounded female were discovered. The woman was immediately rushed to St. Jerome's Hospital, but died a short time later of her injuries. She has been identified...
Hey everyone, this is Dusko Makas that Gamer, and today we are playing Silent Hill 4 The Room. Now, we've actually tried playing this game for LP multiple times. We've restarted this game again and again and again. We're playing it through emulation right now, and this is going to be the final time. We're playing through the whole entire game right now, tonight. So since this is going to be one single one play session for those on YouTube and for those on stream, I might be full of energy for like the first half of the game, but in the second half of the game I might start draining on it. So my commentary might be a little bit less frequent or something like that. That's typically how it works though, right? I'll let the opening play. Sounds freaking good in the Silent Hill games? Uh, well, the obvious answer is because um, the series composer up until Downpour was Akira Yamoka, who is a very good composer. He's the, not just in the Silent Hill series, he does good music and other things as well. Just he's best known for his Silent Hill series music. And in my opinion, uh, he does a very good job in Silent Hill 4 making very ethereal sounding songs. Now, being me, I need to look at the options menu first. I don't think there's anything exciting here though. Brightness, screen position. I wonder if you play in Japanese, it would actually have Japanese voices. I have my doubts because I'm pretty sure there's not a Silent Hill game that doesn't have anything. I think all the Silent Hill games have English dubs, just Japanese subtitles. Subtitles speaking on, I should turn those on. Vibration is good, sound is good, audio is good. We're good. Wait, actually there's more options, aren't there? There are. Alright then, noise effects on, let's go straight into the game then. Do you want to change the options? Yes. You could have green or purple blood, why not, right? I mean, I could see green or purple blood looking kind of cool with the weird monsters, but red for us. Straight into a new game. <sighs> this is that tough question, but me being me, we're going hard. I'm going to so regret this later. But you guys, I know if I ask you guys, your eyes are all going to say I should play on hard. So, it's gonna be hard. It was two years ago that Henry Townshend moved into room 302 of South Ashfield Heights, an apartment building in the medium-sized city of Ashfield. Henry was happy and enjoying his new life. But five days ago, something strange happened. He began to have a recurring dream each night. One night after the other, he couldn't leave room 302.
I think I have a legitimate interest in games that are set like this. Games where your character is in a room. Ah! What the fuck? I forgot that even happened. <laughs> it didn't scare me. It was like more humorous, unfortunately, than not. Um, but what I was going to say, though, I like games where the character is kind of like trapped in his room. Not, not just always he, but like they're settled in their house and things get more and more odd as it progresses. The other game which I'm thinking of right now that has a setup like that is Fatal Frame 3. I'm just a fan of things like these, I believe. And we're just gonna look around and observe quite a few different things. Not that though. What was the oh here we go. Observe button. I saw the icon. What's with this room? You really don't know. Well, our main character, Henry, we're gonna have to keep a tally here. You guys have to help me here. We have to count how many times through the course of the game Henry says, What the hell? It's important. It's very important. It's covered in blood and rust. Alright. Can we check out the windows? Yeah, we can. This is my room. But what the hell has happened to it? What the hell? There's number one, number uno. Mm hmm. I'm still going to be going over through all this. I think I just looked at this. This is room. Is it really my room? Of course it is, Mr. Henry. How can we not hear that from inside our room? That's so loud! The door is shut tight, it won't open at all. Ah, whatever, you know, dream logic. Um, doors open, can we escape? It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy. My head hurts. Meanwhile, in our kitchen. Things are looking grand. It smells horrible. I'm afraid to open it up. I don't feel like washing my hands right now. <laughs> really? I mean, I understand probably not in that beautiful sink of yours, but I really feel like washing my hands after being in a room like this. I'm not interested in food at all. My head hurts. Which means difficulty of thinking. Let's uh, mess around with what's making the loud noises over here. I can walk past chairs. I'll look at that after I turn this off. TV? Where did this big TV come from? I thought I had a record player here. I'm really not going to turn it off? These books, they're not mine. Picky, picky Henry. I don't even know what this is. Okay, this direction. What's this? It's part of an old picture book. There once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord. But one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone, but the baby made lots of friends at Wish House, and everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. It's ripped here, and I can't read anymore. Of course. Still a loud television, let's uh... Oop. Creepy. Looks like a face. Looks now automatically. What is this photo? It's all faded and I can't see it well. Maybe I'm supposed to go over this direction? I think I'm supposed to go over this direction. The window! I can't get it open! Uh, I need to have a memory here what I'm actually supposed to be doing. The face sticks out... I thought I moved this, but now it's back where it was. Fair is fair in this world. I think there'd be a remote or something to turn this off, but whatever. Ah, I guess not. Oh. Oh my.
attention. All right, we've already joined our Harry, our Harry, our character Henry. He's decided to live in a very less rustic room than his dreamy self. Let's um, go take a proper look around then. No time to look; the phone's ringing. It's still not working. Oh, man. Hello? Cut. This leads to three different questions. First of all, how did the phone ring if the cord's cut? Second of all, who cut the cord? You? There's no one else in this room but you, so it must have been you. Why, why would you cut your own cords? And third of all, who? Anyways, of course, being me, we have to look at everything. First of all, our beautiful closet, where we arrange things such as shelves, boxes, and miscellaneous hangers. Why don't we wear, wear actual clothes in here? I have no idea. Shoe boxes, though. Why not? Let's so find out the right angle to observe this again, because there was something to observe here. And I don't think it was just that phone. You can tell, obviously, when you can observe something by the eye in the upper left-hand corner. But you sort of have to look around to see the right things to observe like this. This is a photo of the church I ran across while I was visiting Silent Hill, which brings me up to a point I always have to bring up whenever I start playing Silent Hill 4. After this, though. For some reason, I was really attracted by the way it looked, so I took the picture. And hung it up on my wall so I can sleep at it with it at the foot of my bed every night. So, now, this game, as many people may be aware, did not actually start development as a Silent Hill game. Uh, the people who made the old Silent Hill games wanted to make a new IP. And so this game was originally going to be called Room 302. However, though, Konami decided thought that because it had similarities to Silent Hill already, and because Silent Hill was a brand name that they uh, could use and to sell better, why might as well call it Silent Hill 4. And so it became a Silent Hill title. And there are definitely signs that this was originally not supposed to be a Silent Hill game, but in other ways you can tell that they tried to make it more like a Silent Hill game once it was turned into a Silent Hill game. However, most of it, while well, I think it's done pretty well, there is one element which I think is utterly ridiculous and makes absolutely no sense in the context of the story, in the context of anything, and just makes me laugh every single time I read it. It's because Henry has moved into a town named Ashfield. He is not in Silent Hill. And while events going on here are related to Silent Hill, he doesn't know that yet. However though, even though he's not in Silent Hill and he just moved here, he just very recently moved to Ashfield, he moves to Ashfield and the first thing he does is hang up the place full of pictures of Silent Hill. And keep in mind, he doesn't come from Silent Hill, he never lived in Silent Hill. If you read what he says, he's only visited Silent Hill once on vacation. That's why he makes the claim that he's only been there once. But for whatever reason, he hung up pictures of Silent Hill all across the town. And he will not forget to remind you that that is Silent Hill. He will keep on telling you that th that is Silent Hill. And he will keep on saying it over and over and over. To make yourself, you know that this is a Silent Hill game. And that's what I think is kind of the shoehorned element of trying to make this feel like a Silent Hill game is the fucking picture descriptions everywhere. And you'll start seeing it all over the place, like over here. Hey look, it's a picture of a lake. It's that lake in Silent Hill. I went sightseeing there a few years ago. I like this photo because it really captures the beauty and tranquility of the trees and lake there. You don't say... I put this up on the wall right after I moved here. Yeah, because he moved to a town called Ashfield and apparently he just really wanted to go to Silent Hill. I don't fucking know. Mm-hmm. This is my bed. That would be probably a good assumption because you were sleeping there. Let's keep on. Also, you can look at things twice in this game. I almost forgot. Usually he has a second thing to say. 
Not always, but sometimes. This photo... Yep, okay, there's nothing second. So I'm going to check everything twice to make sure there's nothing else to say about these pictures. There's only a few things, that actually, I think they'll say it twice, too. But always good to observe. Meanwhile, on their desk. There are a lot of small items here, but none of them are. None of them is particularly interesting. I would think it would be an R there, not is, but I'm not a grammar expert. All right, over here. Oh, it looked our window automatically. You just like watching the low poly people walk across the street. They almost look like cheapified people. Obviously, this one we're focusing on over the others. And that focused one is going down to the subway terminal. Let's see. For just lingering our sights here. To be fair, though, as we're going to soon learn as well. Our character is trapped in his room. He can't leave. And so I guess if you were trapped in your room and things like television and all that weren't working, I guess looking outside would be a pretty exciting pastime. We're also free to look freely, but at the moment we're kind of stuck. That does nothing. There we go. I'm supposed to use this keyboard mouse button. Got it. There's a lot of things to see around here. We can watch our neighbors do their daily task right outside our window. There's somebody right now. Let's see what his daily task is. Apparently it's to dance around his room. Look at him, he looks like he's doing the fucking dinosaur. Watch people cross streets, all that exciting stuff that you all do obviously daily. Hotel South Ashfield. There's also a phone number here that we're going to take note of at Bar... Okay, it's called Bar... Some, I guess Southfielder. It's a U. 555-3750. So, 3750. With that beautiful number in mind, let's go to our cell or to our phone and call it right now. Three seven five zero. What was it three? Fuck! I, got, I already messed it up in my head, but I think it was three seven five zero. Wait, there's also a five five five. I should just recheck. All right, so this is what I get. It's five five five. It's five five five. It was five 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 three. Okay, I was right. Three seven five zero. To the phone now. Uh, this room actually has a lot of Easter eggs in it. I don't know all of them, but be, by playing, uh, playing this game multiple times, there's a lot of randomized events that can happen. Three, seven, five, zero. Crazy teenagers. Uh, that noise just now, what was that? Hey, you could still call numbers in your cut line cord. You know, that would actually be a pretty amazing idea for like a cell phone or a prank phone. Make it look like a phone's line is cut, but it's actually a mobile phone. And then make calls on it or give people calls to that phone. Ah, oh, that'd be brilliant. Imagine that, like trying to scare somebody in their hotel room and there's like a little thing. Somebody calls it like it's. Oh, Cool idea. That'd be a good way to freak somebody out. Uh, anyways, though, mm -hmm. I think that's just the thing I was looking at earlier. Let's try this then. It's a brand new scrapbook. You can now press the contents of the scrapbook by pressing the triangle button. There you go. We put a notebook in our file or a file in our notebook. I don't get it. You still haven't got anything. Why <laughs> don't I feel great? All right, so outside of that, there's not really much to do outside looking at windows in this room, so I think we're about ready to leave. Let's go to something here which I missed, but that's a negatory captain, so out to explore our main apartment. Now, right across from us from the beginning is the restroom, but we're going to come back to that because obviously it's important. Henry has to tell us a little bit about his uh, current stay here. Starting with this, because it turns out that's not natural. Five days ago, that's when I first had the nightmare. I haven't been able to get out of my room since then. The phone doesn't work, the TV doesn't work, I can't even get out, get out the window. My whole world has suddenly turned insane. 
My door is chained up. The windows are sealed shut. And on top of that, someone chained the door from the inside. How am I going to get out of here? Don't go out, Walter. What the hell? What's going on here? Alvin from next door. Oh man. I hope my luck changes before the party. So we have a next door neighbor that we can see through the people sometimes when she comes by or someone else comes by. There's also handprints on the other side, and I'm pretty sure that's not natural. However, though, that's kind of an interesting thought. What would you do if just one day you woke up and you find yourself trapped in your apartment, your room, your house? There's nobody else there. No matter how hard you try, the doors, the windows, there's no way you can even find a way out. And you might be wondering, you might be worrying about how does he eat? How does he sleep? Well, he obviously does sleep. How does he drink and all that? Things aren't working. But he'll explain that very quickly. I don't feel like washing my hands right now. Okay, I guess that's not what you need to know at all. I don't really feel like cooking now. Maybe he says it later, but I'm going... This is not a spoiler because you find that pretty early into the game. But for whatever reason, even though he's trapped in his room and he can't uh, break out or anything, he doesn't get hungry. He doesn't get thirsty. He doesn't have a need to go to the bathroom. He's just needless anyways though let's look inside this fridge two things to pick up there's chocolate milk here take the chocolate milk you bet so you got the chocolate milk chocolate milk chocolate flavored milk very sweet it was in the fridge it was the refrigerator at home good to know there's also a bottle white wine i'm not gonna take it though Alright, no, I don't mean to look at that. We're going to back away from the fridge and shut it automatically because we're that proper. Anything else around here? Nope, we good. Meanwhile, let's take a look at our uh, lovely apartment here. The controls here are a bit awkward, but we can get them down. Actually, I never checked out the note at the foot of the door, right? Don't go out, Walter. Take a look at our peephole. Provide some real exciting wall action. Can't get enough of that. Now if we look down here, we have a note. What's this? Mom, why doesn't you wake up? Why doesn't you wake up indeed? You put the first letter in your scrapbook. Which means I have something in here, finally. You can take a look at my shoes. My shoes. I don't need to change them right now. We also have this real exciting room. I'll be honest, completely honest with you. As I said, this is not a completely blind let's play of the game because I've gone up to the fourth world in the game. Then I stopped playing after I beat the fourth world. But in my hours of playing this game, I have not figured out what this room is for at all. I haven't, it hasn't done anything in the whole entire game. At least up to the point where I've played to. Maybe it has a few role in the future. There's nothing interesting here at the moment. It's a washing machine. I don't need that right now. Nothing in this area has really changed since I moved here. You don't say. It's a clothes dryer. I don't need... Yeah, yeah, if you don't need a washing machine, you probably don't need a dryer, so... It's a tank filled with oil. Good to have a backup. Here's a wise suggestion. If you ever have a house to yourself, it is good to have backup things, such as oils or fuses, in case something goes wrong. Good to be prepared. There are tools and things on the ground. Well, it's a very nice, handy washing room, storage room, but nothing in there, really. Anyways, back to exploring our main room. Now, obviously, there's a note behind this catching my eye, but first I want to investigate this. Turns out this isn't a seat like I always think it first is, like a weird sort of sofa or something. It's actually a chest. And you can hold a lot of stuff in here, as it says. 
chocolate flavored milk very sweet it was in the refrigerator at home and here we can find some stuff Huh. That's not what you really want to hear happen. What was that? You tell me, because I, I know what it is, but I forgot that happens after you look at that. Let's look at this. It's a photo of me as a kid, and then when I graduated from high school. Okay, so that's supposed to be you as a kid. No offense, but from a distance, doesn't it kind of look like... Uh, I don't know. I've seen big eyes or eyelashes or something and uh, whatever. I'm not going to judge. No judgments for me. I've had this furniture since before I moved here two years ago. Cool. So as you can see, Henry's just an up, upstart, fantastic, interesting guy who lives in his apartment all day long. It's weird. A few days ago, the power to my TV and my VCR just stopped coming on. Ever since I started having those nightmares. Come to think of it, that's also when I started getting trapped in my house. You think this is all connected somehow? Or stopped having the need to eat? Or the need to drink? Or the need to go to the bathroom? Nah, completely unrelated. The main power is off, so even if I press it, nothing happens. That's always devious. Let's uh, check that out through here. Actually, can we look at the magazine? Let me find out. Nope, we're just so fixated on that remote. Like society. <laughs> Speaking of Silent Hill, wait, 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 you want me to mention Silent Hill? Excuse me, I forgot to talk about it a little bit more. I got this photo from Frank Sunderland, the superhero at South Ashfield Heights. Oh, he didn't actually say what it was. That's useful. I know what this picture is. It's not Silent Hill, though. This is a photo of the outside of South Ashfield Heights. I was immediately attracted by the outside of the building, as well as the view from the window here. When I moved here two years ago, I almost felt like I was being drawn here. You don't say. However, though, there's so much I almost forgot to mention. Frank Sunderland. Silent Hill fans, who for some reason didn't know anything about Silent Hill 4, will probably pick up that that uh, sounds a little familiar. Just a tiny bit familiar. And even though I probably shouldn't speak ahead of myself here, I will mention that, indeed, uh, Frank Sunderland is supposedly the grandfather of James Sunderland from Silent Hill 2, and he will play a minor role into this game. So there you go, more connections to the Silent Hill U.S. Now, to me, that's a fine connection. A connection isn't saying, that's Silent Hill. I have a picture of Silent Hill here. But interesting connection at the very end. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's how we save our game. Take a good old save file. And there you go, room 302. Can we look at the photo above it? Probably not. It's probably going to be like just for saving. I can't get a good angle of that photo, so. All right, that's the window. What they do? I can't open the window. Up until a few days ago, it was no problem. Ever since I started having those nightmares. Which, of course, are completely unrelated to everything else going on here, right? Right. I brought these. Okay, I brought. Yeah, I brought these books with me when I moved in two years ago, but I haven't touched them since then. Yeah, we're not turning the radio on for now. <laughs> there is something, of course, caught back here though. It looks like a scrap from some book. Man, this thing looks like it was written ages ago. Through the ritual of the Holy Assumption, he built a world. It exists in a space separate from the world of our Lord. More accurately, it is within, yet without, the Lord's will. Unlike the world of our Lord, it is a world in extreme flux, unexpected doors or walls, moving floors, odd creatures, a world only he can control. Anyone swallowed up by that world will live there for eternity, undying. They will haunt that realm as a spirit. How can our Lord forgive such an abomination? This part of the book is too damaged to read. It is important to travel lightly on that world. He who carries too heavy a burden will regret it. 
the book is too damaged to read anymore. Totally not any form of foreshadowing or slight explanation of what's going on. But hey, book scrap, right? We can take that, no problem. Now let's talk about this chair. That's a pretty nice chair. All right, now if we go to the restroom, we can finally get on going. Actually, I think there's one more. Is there one more thing I need to do? No, no, okay, I think we're good. Actually, maybe besides that notepad file thing, which I can't quite look at right now. Maybe we go over here. You want, okay, nothing about the low res file. We're gonna go to our bathroom. It's where I do most of my thinking. And in here. Three times saying what the hell. Anyways, obviously there's something a little bit wrong with our bathroom. But <laughs> no one cleaned the fucking tub? Look how messy that is. Of course there's no one in the bathtub. Were you expecting someone to be in the bathtub? Of course he was. Of course he was. Alright. Nothing really note besides that now, is there? There are bathroom items here, but... I don't have time for that now. The wire has stopped running. Look here. Isn't the time for that kind of thing. Obviously, most obviously, there is a hole in our bathroom. And more noticeably, there are creepy sounds coming from inside of it. So this is the point in our lives where we have to ask ourselves, why is there a giant hole in my bathroom wall? Why is there creepy noises coming out of it? Or more likely, why are you still here? And then you remind yourself that you're trapped in your room and you can't go anywhere. And so then you're overcome by gracious curiosity of why is there a giant hole. And then you think to yourself, well, you know what? I'm trapped in here. I, I There's nothing else for me to do. I might as well check it out, right? The sewage pipe's broken, too. Pulling the part hanging down, obviously. You got a steel pipe, which is our default weapon here. A three-foot sewer pipe, not very powerful, but fairly easy to use. All right, now where's life without a little bit of living, right? Straight into the magical hole we go. Keep in mind that Henry has said what the hell three times, and now we're about to explore the real fascination of Henry Townshend, his absolute love for holes. Enter the hole? Why wouldn't I? Oh dear, oh dear. Now this part's actually controlled by us. We're supposed to be crawling through. Now if you had claustrophobia, this would be like a worst nightmare scenario maybe for you. Maybe not worst nightmare because you can see a light at the end of that tunnel. I'd be more questioning why our business is going a little bit crazy right now. But that's fine. You know, just think of it like coming out of a giant straw. Somebody's just sucking you up. You gotta get going, gotta get crawling. Gotta see a friend of yours. What was that sound I heard there for a second? The, it was like a Silent hill -esque drum thing, which makes sense because it's Silent Hill, but... Through the other side we go. You guys think this is symbolism for being born? Maybe. It could also be symbolism for a uh, straight straw, so...
four times Henry. Anyways, we found ourselves in an um, escalator on the other... You know, a convenient escalator on the other side of the hole. Why not? It's a down-only escalator. That's weird. It's a dead end. Now, what's the, that's the run button in this game. Got it. We got something to look around. It's a big pipe. This looks like the South Ashfield subway station. I can see from my apartment. But it's all wrong. This shouldn't be here. He pays a lot of attention to the pipes hanging around. We're moving around regardless. Alright, so... Uh, for those who are watching and haven't experienced Silent Hill, this is going to be an interesting Silent Hill game to see first. I'm a big fan of the series, obviously, so... yeah. However, those the last main Silent Hill game which I haven't played all the way through. Can we say anything about this? What's with this? So close to what the hell. This looks like the South Ashfield subway station, but I don't think this should be here. However, as we walk through, there is a mysterious figure on the other side of this hallway looking back at us. Obviously a good sign, right? Still though, thanks for investigating our way going down the hall. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, where I'm trying to turn this into a livelihood for missed game videos, different higher quality video series for the channel, and my own little games to make from time to time. You can learn more about all of this at the link, which you'll also find in the description below. If you'd like to watch me record my game videos, take part in development streams, or just interact some, I stream quite regularly at my hitbox.tv channel and it's where I record all my gameplay for my Let's Plays. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and until next time, adieu.